a Pokemon Nuzlocke. If a Pokemon faints, it's gone for good. But this Nuzlocke has fusions. I can combine any Pokemon that I want with any other Pokemon. This fuses their stats, typings, everything. But also, if a fused Pokemon dies, two die together. Double the risk, double the fun, I always say. <laughs> now, this isn't just a Nuzlocke, it's a hardcore Nuzlocke. The rules are as follows. I can only catch the first Pokemon in each area. If a Pokemon faints, it's dead forever. Battle mode is on set. I have a level cap of the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon, and I can't use items in battle. There are some other rules, but that's the basics. Hardcore Nuzlocke's also have a little minor rule that I may have broken, but I'll get to that when we get there. For now, I set my game to modern mode. This makes it so there are Pokemon from almost every generation and I can choose which generation of starters that I wanted. Of course, I chose Sinnoh, which is the objectively correct choice. Because I expected it to have the coolest looking fusions, I chose Chimchar, which I named Jin. And my rival got both of the other ones. Piptwig. Look at that creature. I'm going to lose this, but it doesn't start until we get Pokeballs. That's how that works, I think. Oh, suck it, dude. Let's go. That's what you get for growling. With my rival beaten, I headed north, got a free potion, grabbed Oak's parcel, and was given a free pair of DNA splicers. The item needed to fuse Pokemon. I then grabbed a few nearby items, returned the parcel, and now it was time for this Nuzlocke to begin. Route one, my first encounter is a Fletchling. That doesn't surprise me. It's level two. No, dude. Stay in the ball. First try, please. Just stay in. You're level two. Thank you. Okay, we have a Fletchling. Jeff. So we got Jin the Chimchar and Jeff the Fletchling. I battled the first non-rival trainer of the game who had this adorable little Azril centric fusion. That battle taught me that I do not have shared experience. So to the switch train Jeff, who was level two. Most Nuzlockers that I know of cheat in rare candies to grind, but I couldn't do that until I had at least two or three rare candies to duplicate. So for now, leveling was a chore. I trained a little, fought some trainers, and then I caught a centric named Sayu. Right now, now, my team had a fire type, a normal type, and a flying type. The first gym was Brock, who has rock and ground types. My only hope for something that could handle that was Viridian Forest. First encounter Viridian Forest? That is awesome, but it is completely useless for the first gym. But that's awesome. That literally cannot fight Brock at all, though. All right, Pokeball, stay in. Please stay in, Joltik. I love you. You're a great mon. You're so sick. Let's go, dude. All right. This is Jolty. Yeah, an electric bug type. Don't get me wrong. Galvantula is incredible. It's just not really what I needed right now. Then I was preparing to get my Route 22 encounter in hopes of getting anything that could hit a rock type when something unexpected happened. Who are you? What? I got a football. A gift Pukamuku. This was a blessing because worst case scenario, I could just use Bide against Brock. I then headed for my Route 22 encounter. So I'm going to head to the left to Route 22 and we're going to get hopefully a Spearow. If we get a Spearow, we can evolve or we can trade it for a Bellsprout. Come on, Spearow. Come on, Spearow. <gasps> that is so much better. That is literally my, that is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. That is so much better. That is literally... I screw Spearow. That is so much better. That is so much better. Fanpy, one of my all time favorite Pokemon, which I named Ganesha. I now had a full team of six Pokemon, six unfused Pokemon. So let's just use our DNA splicers, right? So if it's green, it's a custom sprite. Is that how that works? OK, <laughs> wait, a water ground type is sick. Water ground is really good. I'm just going to check the stats on this guy. Let, let, let's check. This is our first fusion. This is our first fusion. Ganesha and football. That is a, a, a demon. Pew cuppy. Pew, 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 pew. OK. That is a demon, but it's adorable. The long cucumber Pokemon. 
Yeah. <laughs> Now is a good time to explain how Fuse stats work. In a Fusion, one Pokemon is the face and one is the body. The stats of the Fusion use most of the special attack, special defense, and HP of the face and most of the attack, defense, and speed of the body. It uses one type from each Fusion member and I can choose which ability that I wanted the Fusion to keep. And that just about covers it. I then fused Jeff and Sayu to create this Sendling. I named it Saf and I renamed my Fanby Fusion a Goofball. Goofball was expected to be my carry against Brock, so I used them to get through Viridian Forest. However, Goofball is four times weak to grass, so I mostly just switch train using Jin's fire moves to get through all these trainers with their fused grass types. I made it to Pewter City, explored and did some little side quests, then I headed to Route 3 for a major encounter. Route 3 encounter! No, no, danger, 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 danger. I'm not allowed to fuse that with a lot of things. There, there, there are some things I cannot fuse this with. Why does it be a normal type, man? We got a Baneri, which I named 34, if you know, you know. Catching that level, Jin up to 12. That's my level cap, and I cannot afford to get him any higher, so I went to a weaker route and painstakingly trained Goofball up to level 11 so he could take on Brock. I then unfused Saf because it was level 2, and I figured if I had to sack a Pokemon in the gym, I would rather only lose one of them. Then I found a move tutor that teaches Mud Slap. It's not a particularly strong move, but a ground move going into a rock gym sounded pretty nice. So I taught it to everything that I could. And now it was finally time for the first gym. Chin Seed. Are you kidding me? So as you might be able to tell, Chin Seed is not a rock type Pokemon. That's because in modern mode, gyms have new typings. And this information was not available anywhere online, so I could not prepare for anything they threw at me. Yep. I spammed Goofball's Mud Slap through all the trainers, and now it was time for Brock. Using two Pokemon, choose the Pokemon you wish to use for our battle. I'm entering Goofball and Jin. Why not Pokemon Center? Are you allowed to leave a gym during a hardcore Nuzlocke? I don't think so. Uh, that's a grass type. Pawning. It's a, this is a steel gym? This is a steel type gym. Because they had Hone Edge, Ferro Seed, Pawniard, and Clink. This is a steel gym. Are you kidding me? That is the best Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. But he has a Steelix? Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. Why is it a steel gym? Anyways, we did beat Brock. Wait, what? That was not damage. It has filter. It has filter. Or, or, uh, or, uh, you know, yeah, it, it, it has filter. From, uh, from Mime Jr. Okay, you can Ember me all you want to, bro. You do, like, no damage. And I eat my berry now. Suck it, nerd. I should be able to easily beat Steve Jr. Burn. Let's go. Let's go. Get burned, trash. All right, that should be Brock defeated. GG's. That was a sick Pokemon. Steve Jr. My first gym was defeated. Jin evolved into a Monferno and Brock gave me a premium Wonder Trade ticket. In this game, a gym leaders reward you with these tickets to let you trade for a random fused Pokemon. I have one ticket. What I have to want? Yeah, okay, one premium ticket. I'm going to get rid of Sayu. Goodbye, Sayu. Goodbye. My first Wonder Trade for my premium ticket. Sweet. Sweaty. We get Sweaty. Sweaty is an Ekans magic carp. It may not look like much right now, but Sweaty's potential is insane. For my second gym, I had to go through Route 3, which had about 6 million trainers with all kinds of super cool fusions, and then I ended up at Mount Moon's Pokemon Center. I bought a Magikarp, a decision that I would soon regret. But for now, Mount Moon Encounter. It was my first ever fused encounter, which allows me to catch two Pokemon in one. I got this Swinot, which I instantly unfused because I do not care about why not at all. I made my way through all of Mount Moon, fighting some pretty crazy fusions along the way. I also was kinda only using one fusion right now, so I went ahead and fused 34 in Jeff, who was too low level to use right now, but still. At the end of Mount Moon, the story seemed to have changed a little from what I remember of Kanto. Didn't matter though, I absolutely destroyed all these nose pass fusions. I grabbed the Helix Fossil, explored Cerulean, and then I headed to Route 4 for an incredible encounter. A Heracross? Say less? Give me that, thank you. Alright, alright. That should be a Heracross secured. 
we got a Heracross named Hera. Now, I was still kind of bothered by the lack of fusions on my team, so I decided to fuse Jin with the uh, Magikarp. I heard that Gyarados and Monferno was a really cool fusion. It was water fighting, which is a fantastic typing, and Magikarp evolves at 20, so it fits in the level 22 level cap. I took Jinnicarp to Mount Moon to train by rematching trainers. I was trying to find a trainer that would be really easy to rematch over and over, and uh, what does this person have? What are the odds she's easy? Oh, Untwig? Oh, Untwig was easy, dude. What's an Untwig? I'm never using a Magikarp again in my life. The water typing? Yeah. Yeah. That death hurt more than you can imagine. My starter Pokemon and a potential Gyarados gone. Also, I count Fuse deaths as two on the death counter. Just keep that in mind. With my heart shattered, I decided to try and cheat. Basically, I wanted grinding to not completely suck, and I learned that you can randomize items on the fly in the middle of your game. I re-randomized them over and over and over, trying to get the shop to sell rare candies, and after like six hours, it never happened. So instead, I used that method to cheat in some other items that would help with levels. I got some lucky eggs, some XP shares, and a bunch of these super splicers that made it so I didn't lose levels every single time I fused. I promise this is not some sort of scummy way to make the Nuzlocke easier, okay? I could easily spend 12 hours grinding on Route 1 to avoid any deaths while training, but that's bad content. These items would allow me to mix and match my team, use more fusions, and overall just have a better time. For example, I can fuse my level 17 Heracross with my level 3 Fletchling, and it would still be level 17. This also let me evolve the Fletchling half super easily, so now we have a fire fighting type. Again... I had my team leveled and now it was time for another battle against the rival. Things were going well until this Ninkata Pawniard Fusion's defense got lowered by Rock Smash and it got a defiant boost. It could have swept me, but fortunately it was kind of walled by fire and Hera saved the day. I battled the first trainer on Nugget Bridge, which evolved Sweaty into a half Gyarados. I made my way through the rest of the trainers, battled the Rocket Grunt, and then the Ekans half evolved as well. However, because of how fusion stats worked, it would be better if Gyarados was the body instead of Arbok. I cannot unfuse traded Pokemon, but... Hold on, can I reverse that? I want to see what Sweaty looks like reversed. Oh, what is this? It's still Arbok body. <laughs> wait, 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 look at the nose. It has such a big nose. Wait, is this the Gyarados body then? This version was a way stronger style wise and just look at it, it's awesome. My encounter on the route above was Drifloon. It evolves into Drifblim, which isn't actually a blimp, but I named it 25 because there are only 25 blimps in the world. Fun fact, I instantly fused this with 34, creating a Ghost Normal Type 59. Ghost Normal is one of the best type combinations ever, and this thing had definitely proved that. I cleared the trainers on the route above, helped Bill, and then I grinded my team up to challenge Misty, the Ice Type Gym Leader. Two Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna use Hera. I guess Sweaty. Even if Sweaty doesn't listen to me, Sweaty is so strong. It's a classy on Tyra. I just fought one of those outside. It, it hits like a champion. Are you also going to eat hits like a champion? Yeah. Hail. Oh, that's great. That's really bad. So, okay. She got hail up, but I think we'll be fine. I think she's going to be 22. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's 22. Manti and Lapras. That's sick. So what is it? Is it water ice? Just like a Lapras then? Sweaty will be fine. I'm just going to use Thunderfang. All right. Uh, I don't think it will do 30 HP in one hit. You can't heal. I can't heal. Yeah, we're fine. That was a crit. Ignored orders. You know what? You use crunch. Sweaty, you can ignore orders all you want if you win the battle. Second badge down. I wonder traded my why not away for this whooper coughing called Porcus, which I never use. Next, I caught a Ralt, should have got my hair across and they gave me a pine coat, and then I fused that Ralt with Jolty. This got me a psychic electric type, which is a really good typing and it doesn't have a cool sprite, but that's okay. Then 59's Baneri half evolved. Lopunny might not be that strong of a Pokemon, but it learned Return. 
With max happiness, this move has 102 base power, and because it evolved from Baneri, that means it has max happiness. This was really strong. It also looked really cool, which to me kind of matters a little bit more than if it's good or not. I made my way towards Vermilion and got this Fusion Incense. This item makes it so that most wild Pokemon I encounter are fused. I used that on my next route, and I got a Smeargle and Munchlax at the same time time. After getting my old rod, I caught a Feebass, then I fished up a boot for a quest that got me a free Wooper. I fused the Wooper with my new Munchlax, and it looked incredible. I didn't want to add it to the team right now, because I already had two ground types, one of which was Goofball, which is literally my favorite member of the team. Now it was time for the SSN, and I immediately walked into a gauntlet of death. Look at these Pokemon from all around the world. Why are you saying all caps? On who? That's incredible. <laughs> Wait, no, I need that. I need that Pokemon. The ship can be hard if you're not careful. Okay. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Not a double battle. Oh, no. That, that, that tent of pip is awful and amazing. I don't really know. It's, it's certainly something. Uh, that thing's definitely a grass type. It was. No, no, no. No, no. Not goofball. No, I'm devastated. Why has it been my favorite members of the team that have died so far? Not goofball, dude. I'm about to sweat on y'all. I'm sad. What is that? I thought my starter hurt, but man, that sucked. Rest in peace, goofball, the carry of the team from the very start. I laid him to rest and I temporarily added Whoop to the team. I then swept through all the rest of the trainers with 59, the return one shot like everything. Then I encountered a specific NPC. Any of your Pokemon for a rare Pokemon. I don't have a rare po What is a rare Pokemon? He wanted a rare Pokemon. Turns out he wanted a starter. Now, I know this is wrong, both against the rules and just morally not okay, but I unfused Jin and traded his corpse for a Growpoke. Is that legal in a Nuzlocke? Probably not, but this is my Nuzlocke. This Growpoke could be fire water, which let me finish a very important quest. Yo, I got to do a rare typing. Rare. Let's go. Let's go. That was so worth it. We chose right, chat. We chose right. We got a rare candy and I could get another one nearby, meaning I could now dupe them to eliminate grinding. Yes, cheating, but I don't care. Also, Surge was a fighting type gym, so I decided that I would use Growpoke instead of Whoop for the time being. Next, I bodied the rival, and then I just so happened to find 500 rare candies in my back pocket. How'd those get there? That's weird. I leveled my team to get ready for Surge, and then I had to get a Water Stone, which in this game involves Slowpoke into Slow King. And while getting it, I also got a ton of eggs from these daycare quests. I hatched them and got a few baby Pokemon in this tentacle Mantike fusion. I named some of these Pokemon after people in my chat. My Twitch chat. Maybe if you were in my Twitch chat, you could also be a Pokemon or something. Yeah? I ended up adding an Electabuzz Mantine fusion named Dark Paul to the team, and I evolved Growpoke Slowpoke app into Slow King. My team was now ready for Lieutenant Surge. Three Pokemon. Okay, because it's three, I think Growpoke is an obvious one. Maybe not my lead though. I think it'd be 59, Growpoke, and Jolty. What is that? Nose key? Oh, that's so funny. Uh, I actually can't hit that. It's gonna set up Stealth Rocks. Um, it's Fighting Rock. It has no Spadef though. Just give me an Omni Boost. You scumbag. Are you kidding me? What are you hoping to do with this? Flame Gem? Or Fire Gem? Die. What? That's ridiculous is that a houndoom glade you can't have that right now dark fighting that is the worst case scenario i've ever seen in my life i should have made jolty a fairy i have intimidate on Growpoke. okay i'm gonna go into Growpoke. wait okay i might get wiped uh, i can't hit this thing <laughs> I have a quad effective move, but something has to die for me to use it. I can't lose 59. It has to be Growpoke. I have to let Growpoke go down or Growpoke, I guess. No way. 
That did so much damage. <laughs> I'm sorry, Growpoke. You're new. Come on, Jolty. Jolty, you got this. Please don't die. Oh, you're stupid. You're throwing. You threw. Nose key is back. What's a nose key to a guy like me? Okay. Okay, who thought it was cool to give him a Pokemon that strong this early? That's insane. Either way, Surge beat and he gave me two premium Wonder Trade tickets. I had a duplicate Drifloon, so I traded it away for this sick Mankey Nidorino. Fighting Ground is one of the strongest offensive combos ever, and this can be that. I then traded the seal that I had and got an incredible Bayleaf Whalmer fusion named Baba Ba. -ba, -ba. I didn't know it yet, but this thing was an absolute legend later. I had a lot of encounter options available right now. I got this Doug Trio Diglett fusion named Douglet from Diglett's Cave, and then you know that rule I said that I broke in the uh, the intro? Yeah, so basically I was always under the impression that static encounters in Nuzlocke were counted separately from the normal route encounter, and I'm pretty sure that's just not the case. But for this Nuzlocke, I counted static separately and called a static Beedrill. This also evolved. 59, who at this point was absolutely carrying with return. Speaking of return, on my next route, I caught a Fanpy Kecleon fusion. Fanpy has come back to me. I now had so many new Pokemon, and with the addition of rare candies, I decided to rebuild my team. I was keeping 59 and Sweaty, and my other four were Heracles, the ground fighting Dawn Fan Heracross fusion, Ash, the electric flying Fletchinder Pikachu fusion, the Drill, the Bug Rock Beedrill Anorith fusion, and Lord Helix, the Water Fairy Almanite Togetic Fusion. This team was incredible, and I took it to take on a rock tunnel. No! It lived that on one health? I was so excited for Ash. You have no idea. This stupid Pokemon. That thing. That little pebble. Yeah, so that was short lived. I had all these plans to get Ash a light ball and then have a super speed double attack god of a Pokemon, but uh, no, countered. I guess Jolty is back on the team. <laughs> nope, not doing that. I got a few encounters near Dark Cave. I got a Voltorb from Power Plant, got this Mareep Swino fusion. I took the Voltorb to Vermilion and traded it for a Doduo. And then I fused Mareep and Doduo and leveled it up, and this was an immediate reincarnation of Ash. Ash Drio. Electric flying and it looks gorgeous. It also just had better stats than Ash, so hopefully it'll survive longer. <laughs> I made my way through Dark Cave, caught a Litwick Golet Fusion, and then I found this old guy. What the? Hi. What the? Okay, literally, he, okay. <laughs> it's dangerous to go Oh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone, and he hands you a sword? I get it. After finally escaping Dark Cave, I explored Lavender Town, beat my rival in Pokemon Tower, and then Zero in my chat tipped me off of a little secret. I rang this bell at 3 a.m. in game, which opened the hidden tomb. This got me a Duskull encounter and an Eviolite. That sounds like fate to me. Dusclops is known for its Eviolite usage. I decided it was time to retire 25 the Drift Blim from this fusion, and I fused Duskull and Lopunny to create this Dunny. And using all of the creativity I have acquired through my entire life, I named this Pokemon R34PER, aka Reaper. Seriously, that name is perfect. Going over my box, I realized that I had a lot of duplicates from catching fused Pokemon. So I made the decision that for dupes, I had the option to wonder trade them away. I did that for a few, and now I had this Charmeleon Sunkern. Because it was traded, it could never be unfused, so that potential Charizard was stuck with a terrible Pokemon forever. I then made my way to Celadon City. I battled some trainers, got some encounters, did a side quest for an Eevee, and then I found this black market that sold random fusions of Pokemon. Here, I was able to purchase a Zubat Gibble Fusion. Crobat is literally one of my favorite Pokemon, and Garchomp is Garchomp. This fusion was unable to be unfused, but those two are fantastic together, so who cares? Then I went to this hidden forest area and got a Zoroark, another fantastic Pokemon. My box was looking incredible at this point, plenty of options. Now, here's another part of the game where the story kind of changes. Normally, you would go into the game corner to fight Team Rocket, but not here. 
I teamed up with Erica and I headed to the Celadon sewers. I got a Magnemite Sandile fusion encounter, battled tons of rocket grunts, did a water level puzzle, and now it was my first time going head to head with Giovanni. And it didn't go well. My battle against Giovanni. Okay, Dark Poison with Levitate. That has no weakness. There's, it doesn't matter. It does have a Wazing's Defense stat. Lord Helix is actually really good for this and has the bulk to back it up. I'm going to go into Lord Helix. Sludge Bomb. Okay, uh, so that's not going to work. Um, all right, I think we just got to go into Sweaty. I can't be poisoned if I have Black Sludge. This should be fine. Aqua Tail is so strong. What do you mean it lived? Okay, Kekrier. Yeah, no, I think this is a Zoroark because why would he send out a rock type against my water? It's ground. Ground moves, never mind. Okay, ground moves, ground moves, ground moves. I think an Aqua Tail would just kill. I think I Aqua Tail here. I... Okay. I missed. And now it's pure electric with Thunder Punch. And Sweaty is now dead dude that was sweaty uh, okay i can kill an electric type with heracles who is very very strong and also my favorite mod on the team okay i can't risk this thing losing more health I, I oh my god i have no choice are you kidding me dude protean stupid St don't you dare crit me Oh my god. What? Switch? I mean, yeah. I got Ash Drio here. Matt. I, uh, Thunder Wave it. I can't fight this. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I have a Shadow Sneak immunity, but Sucker Punch kills me. No, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't because I have Eviolite. Y'all are not going to like this. <laughs> I'm going to have to go into Lord Helix and hope he suckers this turn. He did not. I'm going to hope that he gets fully paralyzed as I go for the brine. He didn't. Lord Helix, you served well. Actually, you were like the worst member of the team. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go into the drill and I'm going to go for the pin missile. It stays. It. What is it using? It's full paralyzed. We're good. We're good. Uh, I rocked him here. What the good God? What do you mean it one shot me? I'm sorry. I have a 91 health. Oh, I have 36 defense. Yeah, I have to go Reaper. He can't sucker punch me if I'm faster. The move doesn't go off. Also, he got full paralyzed like seven times in a row. OK, we got through the Kecleon. What is that? Uh, Ghost normal again. It also could be the Zoroark. No. No, no. Astrio can live one. That was very weak. Man, <sighs> it's faster than me. Oh, sevens to our team. Forfeit. These mods are dead. Doesn't matter. Not the Lopany with return, and it had such good names. It was scarfed. I think that was scarfed. That hurt more than I can say in words. That was a devastating loss. I had grown such a massive emotional attachment to this team. The fossils, not so much, but rest in peace, Sweaty, Astrio, Heracles, and Reaper. Now, normally a Nuzlocke is a loss whenever you team wipe. So if you want to say a loss, go for it. But for the sake of content, I decided to rebuild a new team from the ground up and keep going. This game's difficulty just spiked dramatically and it only gets harder from here. My new team consisted of Whoop, the Snorlax Quagsire Fusion, Baba Ba, the Whalmer Meganium Fusion, Vito, the Primeape Nidoking Fusion, Cool, the Charizard Sunflora Fusion, and then two that I kind of forgot to name. The Buzz, the Electabuzz, the Blade Fusion, and Magnivore, the Magneton, a Gardevoir Fusion. This was the squad. Time to take my revenge. Round two, Haunch Zing. I'm going to yawn it. I eat that up. It probably drill packs again. I'm going to go into Magnivore. You scumbag. To you damage yourself. Ha, idiot. All right, we hit him with a gem boosted flash cannon, I think. No, I don't have the gem. No, I do have the gem. Yeah, yeah. 
right, that almost kills me. Moonblast. I drain and kiss in case it wakes up and hits me. I don't really know. Okay, that thing down. Team unhurt. Kekrior. All right, this thing is meant for ba ba ba. Thunder punch. It won't hurt me. It hurts me a little bit. I'll be real. I'm going to poison powder. That way this thing's on a timer no matter what. All right, but here it shadow sneaks me and I don't want that. So I'm going to go into Whoop, who is immune to two of the four moves. We're going to hit him with an earthquake. Sucker punch. Go for it. I eat those. I'm just going to go into Vito, which eats most of the hits that I can deal. It wouldn't shadow sneak. So yeah, it can't hit me. Kekrior down. Smeargar. I think I click thief here but there's a chance this is a zoroark in which case I should, I should brick break but i have no way of knowing that so i'm gonna thief it's zoroark that looks beautiful wow okay i brick break here as it goes into smeargar i thief you can't have a rocky helmet holy mother of god i thought i'd be fine okay i'm gonna go into cool why didn't they steal the rocky helmet i'm holding uh 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 no, you're right. I have no idea. <laughs> do they hard swap? What, how did I get back into this scenario? I think I just raw heat wave here. I flinched. Yeah. What the? Yo, where'd you get that move? Chill. I ate that though. Uh, it's probably power gems or dark pulses again. And I have a steel fairy type. So straight up, I go into this. Eating it up. They might swap out into the ghost type. So I'm just going to flash cannon. Yeah. And it's dead. And that's game. GG's get six owed. You're trash. Let's get it, bro. Suck it, Giovanni. You are terrible. You suck. Giovanni be in, but at what cost? I grabbed the silk scope and we are not out of the woods quite yet because we had a gym battle immediately after. I hadn't grown super attached to any of my team yet, so I made a few changes, one of which looked insane. That's custom. That's custom. Hey, yo, that looks so good. My team was now ready for Erica, the bug type gym leader. But first I had to fire trainers. <gasps> bro, 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 bro. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at it. That's the Minecraft B. Yeah, so Porygon can just become Minecraft with certain fusions. That's amazing. I cleared the rest of the trainers and now it was time for Erica. Three Pokemon for this battle, right? I have to choose. So we're gonna go with Cool. So we're bringing these two for sure. Now it's between Dark Tennis and Gabat because these two are Steel types and would die. I say that as if Steel's not really good for a bug gym, but the, the fire type is scary. I'm gonna go Gabat. All right, Lead Typhther. I'm gonna go into Whoop. I'm just gonna Yawn and Body Slam. Don't burn me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's holding a bright powder? That sucks really bad. I'm gonna go into Gabat. I'm gonna fly as they swap into Butter Regis or Butter Butter G the Miss Magius. I outspeed. I Dragon Claw and I fly. They outspeed. They swap again, taking this entire move. I leech life for the heal. They, they just stacked so much health. Um, I could fly again. I, odds are I'm faster because the body is Kangaskhan. It's going to fake out. 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 I think I'm going to go into cool. Jesus. I'm going to sunny day. Why did it use that? I'm not complaining, but why did it use that? Am I crazy? It just used Electro Ball. Okay. Well, you're dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Yeah. Pop off, queen, I guess. So chat, I think I lost. Why, why are you, what do you mean? I'm fine, no, we're good, we're good, we're fine, I guess. Why did you do that? I mean, this thing outspeeds me and Shadow Ball, I think does half. So I think I still lose. Unless I were to go into whoop and I had to yawn. It can't sleep out of me either. Okay, I'm gonna yawn. You can't kill me with that. You're yawned. I'm alive and we switch. And you're asleep and I fly. Please don't miss. GG's. Deathless, well, no, there was a death, but I didn't lose Gabat. 
Let's go, dude. One death, but I'll take that. This game is getting harder and harder, so the fact that both Gabat and Whoop made it out alive is more than enough for me. My next objective was the Ghost Tower in Lavender, so I wanted a dark type. I decided on this Clink Sandow Fusion, which was Dark Steel and ended up being named Choppers. I also leveled up my team a bit and ba 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 ascended. All right, let's evolve ba 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 into its final form. I need to see this. No shot. No shot. What is that? That is actually so sick. <laughs> yeah, ba ba ba. Yeah. 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 What a fantastic creature. Unfortunately, Choppers looked super ugly when it evolved, but we can't all be winners. What can be a winner is what I got from Wonder Trade next. Well, first I got this ugly buff Driftblim named Eric, which looks fun. But then I got a Machoke Marsh Tomp Fusion named Batman. Machamp and Swampert are insane and I could not be more excited for this. I evolved it and it was this sick four-armed Swampert beast. But I wanted ground fighting and this was water fighting. So I reversed it and got this behemoth, a total powerhouse, one of the best offensive typings in the game. Insane stats of Batman was a god. I left him in the PC safe and sound for the time being. And then I added some other Pokemon to my team for the Pokemon Tower. My team for this would be Chompers, Ba Ba Ba, Whoop, a Kecleon Duskoff named Undertaker, Eric the Driftling Wigglytuff, and Scaldera the Magcargo Magneton. Scaldera was the easily my favorite of the new members. This thing looks insane. You know what also looks insane? Some of the fusions in this tower. I'm about tired of getting mummy. Yo, Chompers is so ugly. <gasps> Whoa. Dude, that thing is sick. That is one of the best things I've ever seen and it's jinx and I hate that. I just got O-code. Okay, so rip chompers. That was an entire crocodile and cling cling down the drain. Nice. From there, I finished the book once hour. Defeating the boss at the end looked much crazier than usual. At that point, I just wanted to get to my next gym. So I ran through all the routes and arrived in Fuchsia City. I screwed around in the box for a while, testing random fusions. To be 100% honest, I was still recovering from the trauma of losing my team that I loved so much. I was changing my party constantly. I didn't really care about any of the things I was using, but it was time to change that. I assembled a whole new squad. Whoop, Ba Ba Ba, Scaldera, and Batman, who you know by now, as well as Rui the Galvantula Zoroark Fusion and Cereza the Misdreavus Gardevoir Fusion. I got my moves and items organized, made my way through all of Koga's trainers, and now it was time to face the dark type gym leader for pokemon batman rui whoop i'm gonna go ba 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 cereza will get their chance um that looks okay that looks sick and i'm expecting it to use stealth rocks oh no it just goes for night slash oh it was a zoroark the whole time that could have absolutely destroyed me well i'm gonna go into rui then yeah leave it to this guy to have a have that don't you reflect on me signal beam Quad effective. Yeah, now I know that he has that Weavile Talonflame. It's Talonflame body, so it's probably Dark Flying, which is a really good typing. Yeah, Dark Flying, I just want to go Whoop. I'm just going to yawn you. Ice Shard, bro, your damage is weak. Your damage is weak. What are you doing to Whoop? I have I have thick fat. Acrobatics, you're weak. I paralyzed you. I didn't want to do that. Okay, well, we got rid of the Reflect at least. Nice Slash, nice try. I'm Whoop and you're dead. Got him. Bro, this one is so broken. Haunch of War. That's sick. Um, Gardevoir body means it's probably Dark Fairy. So it's actually just weak to Iron Head. Haze? What are you hazing? Who taught you that? Why are you hazing me? Use an actual move. Why is it hazing me? I don't understand. And why did he Hyper Potion at half HP? And then he sw swapped out. Am I, is anyone else confused as to what just happened? Now, this Torterra Umbreon is sketchy. I think starters are always their primary typing. In which case, it'd be really weak to Rui. What did I just use? I'm just going to signal beam. Yeah. Oh, you were wishing for Haunch War. I'm just going to go back into Whoop, which you clearly cannot touch. <laughs> you could do that kind of damage that whole time, and you were using, you were using whatever that move was? Oh, you're going to swagger me now. Oh, okay. I don't trust this. I'm going to go into blah, 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 blah. Wait, it's a flying type. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Whoop. No, this is really bad. If I keep swapping, I'm just gonna die. So I have to just go for the brine here. If Baba Baba gets killed, you're blaming us, but I'm gonna be really sad if it dies. Oh, it just goes for Haze, which makes no sense. 
and then psychic, which makes sense. Okay, sure. He threw. He also did not have a flying move. Back into this thing, I can just safely go into Batman, I think. That's right. You can't you can't beat Batman. Brick break. Got him. Um Terra beaten. Koga beaten. Another gym down. A deathless. Let's go. I reversed Rui's fusion to make it dark electric, which is way better than bug dark. I think. Then I got encounters in each area of the safari zone, which included multiple potential slackings. And when you can make them a fusion without truant, that's a little OP. With the safari zone taken care of, I went through one of the worst routes I've ever seen in my entire life, did a torturous strength puzzle with a Rhyhorn, and ended up in Saffron City. Here I found a salesman for rage candy bars, which decrease a Pokemon's level. That meant that even if I accidentally overleveled against trainers, I could bring my level back down to level caps for gyms. And I had to use Use those a lot. The rest of Saffron City was entirely taken over by Team Rocket, meaning I could not fight my next gym until I defeated Giovanni, the monster that killed my entire team before and I had to face him again. I began making my way through Silph Code, destroying every Rocket Grunt in my path, almost every single one of them demolished by Rui, with Batman and Cereza handling whatever Rui couldn't. After clearing the entire base, I made my way towards Giovanni. Of course, the rival had to get in my way, but I beat him easily, wasn't even close. And now it was time to team up with him to face my worst enemy, Giovanni. Here we go, me versus Giovanni. All right, Blue, I need you to use Tailwind, thank you. That thing is absolutely weak to fighting, I'm just gonna Brick Break it. Why would you not Tailwind? Where, where's my support? You were supposed to Tailwind. Are you stupid, Blue? You tailwinded every turn against me. Why did you not tailwind? Um, I think Batman will be fine for one more turn, so I'm just gonna brick break again. It swapped. And <gasps> no, no! Why did that do so much damage? It's a Nito Re hustle. Nito Reno has hustle. Not Batman. No. Dude, that did insane. My defense stat is not bad, dude. That's like the second highest defense on my team after Magneton. I'm going into Rui. Oh, uh, blue is so useless. That's a poison fighting type. Hit it with Psychic. Um, But Spadef is probably super low. I think Night Days kills. It doesn't. I'm so sorry. Dude, I'm an idiot. I thought I was bug still. No. I'll go into Scaldera. Are you joking? So I'm quad with the ground. I can't stay in. 51? I think I have to just go blah, blah, blah and water spout. Thank you, Blue. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm serving you. What about Cereza? I didn't trust it. The, 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 it does, she doesn't have a defense stat. And the damage being dealt by the, that hustle mon was insane. You lost again? Bud, shut your mouth. I hate you, Giovanni. Giovanni, once again, murdered my Pokemon. Why was he so high level? The next gym is level 45 and he's out here in the 50s? Like, hello? Anyways, as a reward for saving Selfco, I was given a free Johto starter. I chose Cyndaquil because I did not have nearly enough fire type options at this point. I headed to the PC and laid the Fallen to rest. Some unbelievably strong Pokemon were just lost. My next gym was Sabrina and it seemed like she was fairy type. So for the time being, I added a mucking the muck slacking fusion with an insane attack stat and zero cipher the tentacruel fortress fusion which kind of well fairy and was built to set up hazards and stuff i ran through a few trainers in the gym and now it was time to face sabrina let's fight sabrina i don't know how many mons i can take i'm taking a mucking no, i'm gonna lead off with zero Scaldera, a mucking and whoop right, here we go i'm terrified these gyms are getting, getting very scary okay i'm water steel i'm actually in a really good position right here i can spikes and toxic spikes up i think toxic spikes one layer is beyond worth it toxic spikes one layer lava plume doesn't kill me doesn't even do that much surf half moonblast does nothing surf kills Silflosion dead Marrow Q. Is Disguise in this game? I have never seen Disguise activate, but with my luck, it's gonna activate now. I'm weak to ground. My whole team's weak to ground. Okay, whoop. Um, this is where your job is. Holy mother of God. I'm gonna Iron Head. Ow! Why does it have to be ground fairy offensive? And why does it have to have 
stupid thick club. Why did I bring my favorite four? Actually, unboxing is not one of my favorites, but it's it's there. I, it's too important for this gym. I can't let it die. I'm gonna go and do a mucking. I think I can handle this battle without it if it dies. I don't think it'll go for the ground move though. Okay, we eat that like a champion. The poison's doing work. I think I'm faster. I'm, I'm definitely faster. Oh, you max potioning scumbag. I think I strength here. I eat that. I'm slower, by the way. And now something has to die. Not even something. I think two things might die. I have another slacking in the PC. So all we lose with this is muck. Unless it causes me to lose the rest of the battle. I am going to strength. That was a good turn. Does she max potion again? I'm going to gunk shot. Goodbye, I'm mucking. As much as I hate to say it, if the difference is losing whoop and getting team wiped, I'm going into whoop. I'm going to iron head here. I lived it. Suck it. Whoop is so fat. All right. Not out of the woods by any means. It has huge power for sure. It's very ghost. So my best bet would be to iron head, but I have 18 HP. The worst case scenario would be if they somehow set up like an agility. I'm going to go into Mozero well, zero can't really do much in return. Well, zero knows that I have mirror shot timid nature, so I might outspeed. I'm going to go into zero. Yeah, I'll try it. Let's see. I eat that for breakfast. I mirror shot. Good damage. Oh, it's only is it banded? Is it scarfed or banded? Oh, it's dead. Oh, you suck, suck. What in God's name is that? Yeah, so the thing about a steel fairy type is I have a Pokemon for that. The thing about a Steelix is it has a ground move. Uh, and if they have a ground move, they do go for it here every single time. I'm going to test the waters and mirror shot. I'm going to hard swap Scaldera. Stop that. I'm going to Lava Plume. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. You're free. You're free, Sabrina. You're free. Get clapped. Oh, you have no moves. Oh, you have no moves. You missed the seismic toss because you're bad. Because you're bad. Sabrina defeated with only one death. And in all honesty, a mucking was a new member anyway, so it didn't really hurt that much. And I had another Vigoroth in the PC. So yeah. Now I had this grand plan to make the perfect team. I had been saving Pokemon that I really liked, such as Glaceon and Chandelure in the PC for what I wanted to be my final team of the game. I was made aware of this place called Viridian River, which can spawn starter Pokemon. It also had like a 1% chance to spawn a Mew, which is like super rare. So I'm not going to get that. I could see which starter spawn before battle it so I wanted to choose a Turtwig because it's one of my favorite starters and I wanted it for my final team but I had to test my luck so I gave myself five attempts for a Mew five tries yeah, yeah. I'll start now five tries all right one Chimchar two Chikorita three Turtwig all right what was that sound oh so that's the Mew right Oh my god, I was told this is super rare. This ain't that rare, bro. I got this in four tries. I got this in four tries. I got me a Mew. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm the luckiest person ever. Let's go. So we got a Mew. And because my chat convinced me, I counted Mew separately and I also caught the Turtwig. Yeah, yeah, I know that's probably cheating, but it's more fun this way. So who cares? Now I wanted to work on this perfect team. I went to the PC and tested all kinds of different fusions, some of the Mew, some of the Glaceon, everything that I wanted to use. I had formed most of the squad, but I didn't quite have something to fuse with Mew yet. I traveled to all kinds of different areas to try and get encounters that I hadn't gotten yet. I went to Johto and checked around there, which let me evolve Cereza with the Dusk Stone. That was cool. I went to Crimson City, which is a new area in the game, and I visited the Sevi Islands where I got some cool stuff too. It was all coming together. I found these NPCs that would sell me eggs for hard scales. On this island, I can get hard scales every in-game day, so I went to a hotel to reset the day. Yo. Do we have a steel type? Uh, on. I. Huh? I'm home. Wait, what? Leader Professor Oak. Jirashi? Wait, now we have a steel type? <laughs> hey, yo! I go in the gym. Wait, there's just a Jirachi here. Oh, I can't take these? Wait. Oh, shoot, dude. I don't have the mods for this. I, I didn't even expect this. Pick one? Challenge you to a battle. Pick your strongest fighter. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
stay in. I don't have a good status or wait, what? Oh, so, so go scripted, scripted, scripted. That does not count. Does not count. Scripted. Farewell. I'm still here. A Pokemon egg. I got a Squirtle? <laughs> What's happening? This game's crazy. I was just trying to get a, a hard scale. Make that two legendaries I now have or mythicals, whatever. Also, I think it's generally accepted that scripted deaths and losses don't count. So yeah, don't complain to me. I now had a Mew and a Jirachi, so I fused them. It looks fantastic too. It was kind of just a Jirachi because Mew and Jirachi have the same stats, but I don't care. It looked way too good to not use. Oh, by the way, I got a Chimchar gift on Knot Island and I got a Gyarados encounter. So Jin, my starter, my first death has been reborn and he looks better than ever before. However, he doesn't make it onto the team right now. I hatched those eggs that I mentioned before so I can see all my options and I'm glad that I did because I got a bag on. Just check out this Salamence fusion. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 oh my God. God, I can't not use that. I retired my current team and I assembled the God Squad. We had Deora, the Aegislash Salamence, Fluffy, the Feraligator Torterra, Malzino, the Garchomp Crobat, Yuki, the Chandelure Glaceon, Colrus, the Rock Electric Levitating Rotom Rampardos, and last but definitely not least, Mochi, the Mew Jirachi. This was the squad of my favorite and strongest Pokemon in the PC. My team and I headed for the mansion. We could handle anything thrown at us. Right? You'll fight me. That's the Undertale trainer? He said, it seems interesting. I've never played Undertale, FYI. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um, it has no special defense. Okay. That was probably the mon I was most excited for on the team. That was both of my legendaries. That was Serene Grace. That was okay. That was tough. That attack stat is crazy. Um, okay. Wow. Why does this trainer have a non-custom sprite? Okay, um, dragon ice. Yeah. I'm not exactly out of the woods right now. Okay, I think Yuki will live one hit easily. I'm not gonna outspeed unless Quick Claw activates, and I don't know what the Garchomp will, or the Gabite will use. I'm gonna Icy Wind. It missed. Okay, okay. There's more? Electric Psychic. I guess Malzino. Are you kidding? Wow, that is damage. Okay, um, if only I had a resist for psychic moves. Colorus isn't fast enough. Everything else takes damage. Well, this is going poorly. I just made this team. This was my favorite. This is my team of my favorite Pokemon in the box. Brain, think, 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 think. Uh, I'm sorry, Malzino. I think that was the best option. I could have done. I think Colrus does live one. I don't think we have a choice in the matter. Rock Tomb can miss. Electric Psychic. Thunder Punch should kill from that range no matter what. Why? Why did that live? Wow, I just didn't want to risk the Rock Tomb. I think my actual best bet is to rely on the Bright Powder. That I have a 10% chance to not lose a third Pokemon in this battle. Oh my god. God, this is some random trainer. I wasn't going to fight them. I was told they had Undertale. I don't even play Undertale, man. Oh my God, this dude is crazy. 
I'm Jolly Nature. I outspeed. To say that I had a bad time would be a massive understatement. I just lost half of my God Squad in one random battle. I had been saving most of those Pokemon for like the entire game and just like that, dead. I went through my box again and filled out the squad. I added Lunastra, the Fire Dragon Typhlosion Flygon with Levitate, Excalibur, the Dark Fighting of Bisharp Gallade Fusion, and The Thing, the Electric Grass Electivire Tangrowth Fusion. That was the squad now. The new additions were fine, I just really liked the three that I just lost. I cleared the mansion as well as all the trainers in Blaine's gym and now it was time for the Psychic Gym Leader himself. I would be willing to bet he leads with a setup mod for like stealth rocks. So if I lead Deora, I can go for swords dance. And then I think I should bring Yuki. And then we have one more slot we can bring. None of them are particularly amazing. I think I should just go with whatever's the fastest, which is definitely Lunastra. And here we go. The seventh gym leader, Clink. So it's what steel. That looks amazing, by the way. It's steel psychic. Um, It's definitely not going to set up like I thought. I'm going to swords dance. Oh, just then headbutts me. Wait, what? Yo, wait, crunch. Oh code. Wait, am I, did I just win for free? That mon sucks, it's a Hypno. Who, why are you running Hypno Zatu? Crunch. Wait. You just baton pass a defense drop. You calm minded when you had no chance of survival. You're throwing. Oh, I mean, that can't hit me. I'm a flying steel type. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Let's go. Absolutely swept. It felt pretty good to have something go that well after so many tragic losses. And speaking of tragic losses, my next goal was to defeat Team Rocket once and for all. I headed to the Sevi Islands, cleared all the Rocket Grunts and made it to the cavern where I faced Giovanni once again. Every single time I fought this guy, he killed some of my favorite team members. And this time I would come out unscathed. At least that's what I hoped. And here we go. He has, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Here's the battle against Zap Mulkuno. And my lead is terrible. I'm going to swap into Fluffy. Flamethrower. I eat that. Light screen. Ice beam. You can't tell me they can use three moves in one turn. It's a triple battle. 1v3. What do I do in that scenario? Hoping to get a rock move out. I don't. I can't anymore. This was my rock move. And it took 75% in one turn. I'm going to click rock to him. Dude. I'm faster. There goes Fluffy. Why was it so slow? I'm gonna go Lunastra. I'm gonna Clanging Scales because it will never use a physical move ever. I don't think I have a choice but to sack. The Articuno one should still be weak to fire, right? Knowing that a faster guarantee is so convenient. That's like my only chance of getting out of this battle. Yeah. I, I don't know if it loses access to Flamethrower if I kill Moltres is the thing. I think it does. So I'm gonna Clanging Scales again. Moltres goes down. And it's Drill Peck. Goodbye, Lunastra. I think Excalibur is the play to just deal damage where I can. The attack set's really high and they have light screen up. So I'm going to go into Excalibur. I'm going to Night Slash the Zapdos. Goodbye. I'm going to go into Deora. I'm going to Crunch the Zapdos. It's me and Articuno left. It's dead. That cost me half my team again. <laughs> my team dead again. Nuzlocke's are fun, right? Yeah. Who even creates a 3v1 battle against legendaries with insane stats and perfect coverage? That's stupid. Anyways, I now had the option to catch the legendary birds. I added a few random fire resists to my team and then I went to capture Moltres. It didn't go without sacrifice, however. I lost Whoop in the process. Whoop was a carry for the longest time and I retired him. He should have been safe, but I threw him into a losing battle and it's my fault. I captured the Moltres and I laid Whoop to rest.
We were in the end game now. I had one gym, a rival battle, and the Elite Four in Champion. I assembled God Squad V2. We had Yuki, The Thing, Deora, Zerodra, the Hydreigon at Tentacruel, which is Dark Poison with Levitate, meaning I had no weaknesses. We also had Jin, the Gyarados Infernape, Water Fighting with Intimidate, and Kiara, the Moltres Gardevoir, Fire Fairy Fusion. I headed for the eighth and final gym, which was normal type. That thing's crazy. The Tauros is so tiny. It's like a little baby. Yeah, I need to take a break after seeing that. I'm going to eat this granola bar. <clears throat> After getting through those interesting trainers, it was time. The final gym leader, let's get our revenge against Giovanni. My five strongest Pokemon. These three guaranteed. Yuki, ghost type, good, sure. He's gonna have normal ghost or I should bring my dark type. Sure, I'll bring this. Here we go. Kek gone, okay. Um, Flygon, I think I can just Dragon Dance on it. U-turn, yeah, bye, bye. Hori Lurk, that's gonna be normal ghost, isn't it? But what can it do to me? I'm gonna Aqua Tail. Damage. I'm alive. You're weak, Giovanni. You're weak, Giovanni. You're dead! Hori Lurk, down. Q-Con? That is so messed up. Why is it a Q-Bone and not a Marowak? No, that's messed up. Get off my screen. Dead. Gone. GG. No re. Kek gone. Brick break. Dead. Gone. Bye. Kek gone. Boy, Kek gone. Zosian? Why didn't you send it out earlier? Brick break. Gone. Gone. Off my screen. GG. Smeargar. Ghost normal. It's gonna destiny bond me. I mean, it's gonna have any move under the sun, right? I guess I'll just see what it does. Okay, no, it just goes for the Hex, and it's it's Black Sludge because they never fix the items. Aqua Tail! He full restored that? <laughs> GG's! Giovanni, my biggest threat of the entire run, swept Deathless. With my team unscathed and my head held high, I made my way to the Pokemon League. I beat my rival, got my encounters, beat the trainers, and made it to the Indigo Plateau. I did one final sweep of the region to get any TMs and other stuff that I might have missed. And now it was time. My team of gods, Jin, Deora, The Thing, Zerodra, Yuki, and Kiara. I entered the doors and challenged the Elite Four. The first member was Lorelei. She leaves with this Politoed and Polion fusion, which sets the rain. And as they say, when it rains, it pours. Brick break, brick break. Brick break. I'm gonna dragon dance because she's annoying me. Watch her big parish song. All right, well, I'm now I'm gonna brick break again. Okay, we're a plus two or plus one. King Drio. Flying is scary for me. Flying water, I assume. My best answer to that in the rain is Zerodra. Brave bird. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I guess Deora takes the brave bird. I don't really have a good choice for a move here. I guess we just go for the crunch. Yeah, I don't win this right now. The Kingdra might also have Sniper, which is bad. The rain has not gone away. I guess we do go into the thing here. We eat the Waterfall. We should eat a Brave Bird. We're going to go for the Thunderbolts. All right, King Drio down. That was really bad for my team. I'm not going to lie. Swam Ray. What is stopping me from just Giga Draining? What's it going to do to me? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Earthquake? Yeah, okay. Swam Ray down. That... Doesn't have a custom sprite, surprisingly. All right, Gyarados Mimikyu. Body is Mimikyu, so that means I think it's a fairy type, fairy water. Can you sleep powder a Mimikyu behind disguise? Yes. Dragon Dance! No! I have to go for it again. I have to. I, I, I don't have a choice in the matter. I can't swap against that thing. Oh. Okay, that was the worst 75% chance of my life. It's over, right? Like that's the battle. What has the highest physical defense, Deora? Yuki. But what's Yuki gonna do? Shadow Ball? I'm gonna go Yuki. That. Oh my God. This is so stupid. This is like the third Pokemon of the first Elite Four member. And Kiara. 
also goes down. They didn't miss a single Aqua Tail, but I missed my Sleep Powder. Swept by a Moxie Gyarados Mimikyu. That really hurts. Honestly, it, it hurt just as much watching it back while editing. Yeah, I was planning on calling it a loss if I whited out in the Elite Four, but I wanted to give it one more shot. I spent the next two hours planning, traveling around, catching a Zapdos, getting any encounter I had not already gotten, and crafting the best team I possibly could. I had Saria the Melodic Blossom Fusion, Mela the Magmortar Heracross Fusion, Zeus the Zapdos Aerodactyl Fusion, Giga Vimon the Snorlax Golurk Fusion, Drago King the Dragonite Slacking Fusion, and finally Hephaestus the Volcarona Dawnfan Fusion. I had setup moves all over this team, and if I had to set up and sweep, I would. With God Squad V3 up and running, I challenged the Elite Four again. Lorelei, attempt number two, pull, pull Lilion, eat this wild charge, eat this wild charge, dead, idiot, Swam Ray. I don't think anything's gonna hurt Saria here. Yeah, we're fine. I'm gonna Quiver. I'm gonna Energy Ball. O code. Giga Vimon. Did it just say the normal gem strengthened its drill pack? Is that what that said? Anyways, Body Slam. I'm gonna lose a Pokemon here. I need the rain to screw off. Drago King has Thunder Punch. Full Restore, perfect timing. Thunder Punch, dead. You. Set up my own Dragon Dance in, in Oko. That's my thoughts as well. I should outspeed. I Dragon Dance. They Aqua Tail. They don't even do much damage. I, I Thunder Punch. Dead. Go. If I died to a Jaboka Berry, I would have thrown. Oh my god! That's gorgeous! T Punch ends it. Is it a ghost or is it a dragon? It's Water Dragon. Do we think a play rough from a plus one slacking Dragonite would one shot has 106 defense and 116 HP? It might have those defenses. I'm a Dragonite slacking. If it has 31 IVs and neutral nature, it is 78 to 92%. So I literally don't kill. Do I have another choice? No, I do not. I am simply mentally preparing right now for the death of one of the most broken mods ever. I'm going to play rough. Okay. Are these EV trained? And if not, is this scarfed? No, I'm actually really slow. It has lower base speed than me. So it's it's definitely Scarfed, meaning it's probably Scarfed into a move that cannot hit Giga Vimon. So I'm going to swap into this. It's Scarfed into Aura Sphere. It's going to swap out. I yawn whatever swaps in. Spirit Muku. It can't counter a Ghost type, correct? I can pretty safely Shadow Punch here. It's Dark type. Toxic. It's not. It, it won't actually have a water move. So what are the odds I can get the plus six? I'll go into it. I'll do it. That was sleep turn number one. Quiver Dance. Sick. Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance. I have more health than a Spirit Tomb Pukamuku. Absolutely, I do. Um, but I'm plus five now. Should I go plus six? I'll go plus six. I think I clean sweep. The only downside is if this gets a priority move. But I think I Oko easily. Also, I have plus six special defense, so I might even live a hit. I think I just attack. I'm going for it. It lived on one! It was on a crit? 59 deaths. That, there goes Hephaestus. That hurts a little bit. But it's locked into Hydro Pump, and it is the last Pokemon. Scum! What is this infinite rain garbage, dude? Are you serious? It has to be out, right? It wasn't out, but the rain somehow stopped. GG's. That rain was like 80 turns. Well, my team certainly is bruised and battered and we lost a massive important member. That was a, that is a insane Pokemon to lose. I cannot keep a Dawn fan. That is the third Dawn fan I've lost, dude. I was plus six modest. Like what was that Pokemon, dude? All right, here we go. Please have steel types. I am leading a fire type as a gamble. Rock. He's a rock type trainer. And he leads a rock flying versus my fire fighting. Isn't that just hilarious? It won't have a high attack stat if it's Talonflame, right? What did I just press? Oh, that was Thunder Punch. Okay. Stealth Rocks are up. Okay, that's fine. 
Punch again. If I waste all their full restores, I'm in a better spot for the rest of the battle. Rock slide. I flinched. Um, I don't think you can really do much to Giga Vmon. Just to be clear, they just crunched a fighting type, right? This game is so hard. I thought I was going to have fun and play with fusions, bro. I have to think. Shadow Punch. What? I'm going to go Saria. Tyrant Flame down. Armatops. I'm going to go into Mela. Saria is too important. Setup is too good. X's are thought so. Close combat. Are we serious? No Sash, just raw lives on one? This thing has cross, or was it was it poison jab or cross poison? An Exorcist that we know of, and it probably has rock and water as well. So odds are it can't hurt Drago King. I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. I Thunder Punch. Okay, Armatop's down. Marorier. Sorry I outspeeds and kills it. I wish I had Giga Drain. Uh, I think I sacked Zeus, my full HP Pokemon. Did I really sack my only full HP Pokemon? Kinda, I think so. I have Bright Powder, it's my highest chance to survive. Um, It, it one-shots everything on my team. It has a Thick Club, it has big base, 7,000 attack right now. I have to hope it goes for a ground move right now so I can Ice Fang it. I'm gonna do that. Ground move, Hammer Arm. That was weird, super effective, I guess. Ice Fang, Flinch, Ice Fang. Stone Edge, I'm dead. That's about what I expected, but I got damage off. So I go into Saria here, and I go for the... Which one's stronger? Same power? Energy Ball. Okay. Okay. It has to be Rock Ground, right? Okay. It's over. GG's. A tragic end to this run. Yeah, I know. I technically got team wiped three times, so it was already a loss. But to lose twice in the Elite Four, to lose all my good Pokemon in the box, that was painful. Partially a lack of skill on my part, and partially the game just being insane, but that's my attempt at a Pokemon Fusion Hardcore Nuzlocke. Maybe one day we'll go back and try it again. Maybe you could even be there when that happens. Yeah? Okay, goodbye.